Okay, quick mic check before we start, just make sure it's working okay. Hello. Right then. We finished the uh, Kingdom Hearts final mix, so moving on to the next game in the series, which is. Free Chain of Memories. So, I played the original GBA version of Chain of Memories way back when, but never finished it. I think I got up to either like the final boss fight or the final fight against Riku. I just never beat it. Which means I also never played the the Riku half of this game. And this is, in this version of the collection, it's the PS2 remake of Chain of Memories. So they've changed it from the original 2D sprite work to fancy 3D. So I'm going on pretty blind on this version because even though I played the GBA version of it back in the day, like I barely remember what was going on with it, so let's get started. Standard mode as always. Uh sure, let's have vibration on. I can always turn it off if it needs to be. If it's getting picked up on the mic too much. I better be ready with the uh music swap over just in case it Yeah, I think this is... Yeah, okay. Just gonna swap the music out straight away. Now I'm actually gonna listen to the proper version of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure when it comes to the, like... These pieces of music. So I'm just gonna play it safe and just swap out. Just to make sure I don't get a copyright strike for them. Okay, so they're just recapping the cutscenes from the first game. I wonder if they did this in the original GBA version. Might download that. Uh, I mean, uh, play my version of it that I absolutely totally own and just see. I don't know if there's a thing at the start of this game where you have to pick which stack growth you're going to do. I really should have looked into this before I started. I don't think there was in the original version, but I'm not sure with with this one. I don't know how much they've changed mechanically. I remember all this. It wasn't that long ago. Okay, I think the song's almost over. Should be back to game audio now. We remember this.
Yeah, here we go. Now we're into the new stuff. <clears throat> adorable. Now I do remember who she is. We just leave Donald and Goofy behind? Yay. I'm actually kind of excited for this. Guess we didn't leave him behind after all. Is this going to be voice acted or not? Like with the full cast. Okay, yeah. They did get them back to record. I mean, you'd hope they could get all the voice actors back, because if they're going through the effort of remaking an entire game in 3D... You'd expect him to, to go all the way. Hey, you think it's okay to barge in? But we gotta do it if we're gonna find the king. The king? King Mickey's here? Something just told me he'd be here, okay? Really? Because now that you mention it, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Seriously? Me too. One look at this castle, and I just knew. Our very best friends. They're here. <laughs> yep. Guess great minds think alike. <laughs> Wait, hey, hold on. Sora's voice break between now and the, the end of the last game. You don't mean that. I guess this would have been made post Kingdom Hearts 2. Same feeling. Maybe? I'm not Maybe sure. it's contagious. No, no, something screwy. We gotta go take a look. All right. Ah, where are you going? That way, to the door. <laughs> are you scared? Ah, oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on, let's go, Goofy. Hey, fellers, uh, shouldn't we shut the door behind us before we go? Already shut. Oh. That's it. Who are you? Ah, I was. Oh yeah, I'll try some magic. Fire. Nope. Come on, fire. This is going to be the explanation of why we don't have all our shit from the last game. Come on, fire! Fire! Why is it not working? I should think it's obvious. The moment you set foot in this castle, you forgot every spell and every <laughs> ability you ever knew. You just forgot the second you walked in. In this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. That is the way in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? This is going to be like Metroid, where they have to like come up with a reason as to why you lose all your powers at the start of each game. Here you will meet people that you have known in the past, and you will meet people you miss. I miss? 
Riku! You mean Riku's here? If what you want is to find him... sampled your memories, and from them, I made this. Travis Town. To reunite with those you hold dear. What's this? A card? It is a promise for the reunion you seek. Hold the card to open the door, and beyond it a new world. Proceed, Sora, to lose and claim anew, or to claim anew only to lose. Oh, hey, Jiminy. Let's go. Drop us down. Okay. Okay, now we're starting cards. Left stick or directional buttons. Select card you currently only have one world card. What I really want to know is if they fix the fucking camera. This can't be right. We're in Travis Town. What you see isn't real. This town is an illusion created by your memories ingrained in that card. My memories? Forget about that, Sora. We lost Donald and Goofy. There are cards in this game, I think. Donald? Goofy? Guys, where are you? Yeah, I think they're like... Cards? that You use them like attacks? What did you do with them? They're at the mercy of the cards now. Master the cards, and their strength will be yours again. Tutorial fight. The laws of this castle require that your friends be transformed into cards. If you value your friends, you won't fail to pick them up. Okay, let's... Yay! Free camera! It's not fucking... I'm trying to snap to 90 degrees angles. Thank fuck. Right. We got Donald. Cards you pick up are added to the top of your stack. Use them and your friends will come to your aid. Use card. Okay, so he attacks and then heals. The cards you use vanish, but they will reappear to aid you again, uh, to aid you time and again. The cards are the hearts of your friends. Everything in this castle is ruled by cards. Whether an enemy or a dog confronts you, your yeah, cards are your only way to proceed. But you mustn't forget your own strength. Okay. Same as previous game. Although we got dodge roll from the start, it's not a skill that we had to unlock this time. First thing to yourself. Move, then use the cards. Use cards. I remember there being something about like chaining the numbers together. Now that you know how to use your strength, no, you now know how to use your strength. But it would be of no use if you lose sight of your opponent. I wonder if you can catch me. Yep, still the same. 
Good. Every move you make causes a card to disappear. If you use up all your cards, you'll be unable to act. Ugh. But there is a solution. Keep using cards until you run out, and I will show you. They're restocking your cards. You have no more cards. Without them, no power. If you want that power back, you must focus. Read the cards return to you, and they will. And that was up on the D-pad for to quickly do that. The strength of your heart brought back your lost cards. You can recall spent cards at any time. You need only wishes. But each time you do, the cards will take longer to return. So that's what the number on the recharge thing means. The cards are by no means unlimited. Yeah, use them wisely. Anticipate the flow of battle. Choose the most effective cards. You may use any cards in your deck. Huh. Second so cycle through them. There are four card types. Ah, you use in battle are grouped into two wider categories. Attack cards, magic cards, and item cards. Setting their second category consists entirely of enemy cards. To use a card from a different category. Oh, okay. So I have to use the touchpad on this. Cards will empower you whether you are attacking or defending. But it is up to you to decide when to attack and when to defend. Do not forget that. Okay, this is going to take a couple of battles. Practice. You two alright? Where have you been? You tell us. When you opened the door, we saw a strange light. And the rest is just blank. Gee, that doesn't help. Try to remember what happened. I have to keep my journal up to date. Hey, Donald. Where'd I get these new clothes? I... Yeah, they are wearing new clothes, aren't they? Is that the costumes they have in... Kingdom Hearts 2? Could it be the cards again? That is for you to ponder. Master the cards and make your way through the castle. But from here, you walk alone. Alone? Can't we let... Uh, we can't let Sora go alone? Yeah, Sora can't do anything without our help. Thanks a lot, Donald. You sure you'll be okay? Of course. We've got Jimny with us. You want me to go alone? Fine. I can take care of myself. Hmm. So the hero speaks boldly. Go then. The rest of Castle Oblivion waits. Walk the avenues of latent memories, and you shall meet someone dear to you. I got a bad feeling about this. Relax, Jiminy. I've been ready I'm ready for any tricks we've got up these sleeves. How hard can it be to figure out these cards? Well, we'll see. All I have to do is use one in front of that door over there. Card of Beginnings. So can I look at my deck? What have I got? It's all just Keyblade cards. Chavis down. Let's see if this gets copyright claimed on YouTube again. Because... This track's been claimed, I think, two or three times on the previous playthrough. On the final mix playthrough. Okay, you can follow. You can perform the following actions in the field. Move, look around, face forward. Swing Keyblade, jump, dodge, roll. It's pretty much the same as in combat then. Striking objects in the field with your Keyblade yields various results. Try striking the barrel. Suck shit barrel. New card? 
blizzard. Okay, so break everything because it gets me new cards. Max objects can be lift and throw. Push. Use triangle to lift. Again, nothing too drastically different from the first game. Touching a heartless on the field starts a battle. You can, but you can strike the heartless first to gain the upper hand. Throw. Did that work? Was I, did they put me too far away to actually strike it with the? Can we pick up a barrel? No. We'll just hit him. Uh, see what Goofy does. Oh, he does that spin attack. Uh, right, what does this one do? Is that just a heal? Oh, it restocks my cards. Okay. Yeah, I need to look at my deck just to see, like, what cards I've got and what each of them do. Open doors in the field, press triangle in front of the door. Okay, I actually want to break all of the barrels and shit first. Okay, so I can restock. What are the red ones? Green's obviously health. What do the red ones do? And there was little blue diamond things that were getting dropped in the fight as well. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, uh, can we see? Nah. It's not letting me open a menu just yet. Okay. Uh, to proceed to the next room, you need a map card. Map cards are used to synthesize new unexplored rooms. First, select the map card you want to use. Okay, so we've got... Fight against some Heartless. A room to rest and... Something... Doesn't do anything? Okay, it's only letting me pick this one. Then. The number you see in the card, middle of the screen, is the criterion for opening the door. So you need to have a... Yeah, it needs to match or be higher. Okay. Zero cards are special cards which meet most criteria. Okay. So specials... So zeros hold on to the special situations. Everything else use the lowest number card that's applicable. Card without the marked value. Uh, the card without a marked value is a key card. Key cards are only used at special doors, so there's yeah, they're gonna get specific rooms as well. Save rooms. Yes. Break everything. Ah, now I've got access to it. Okay. Right, save and then take a look. Moogle points, is that the red thing that I'm picking up? Oh, those are the diamonds. We'll have to see. Review decks, let's take a look. We have. Uh, edit deck? Can I check it? Oh, there we go. Okay, there's a ton of space in the decks. Holy shit. 99 cards in a deck. But you've got a, a cost limit as well. Okay. Cost 42, 10, 19. So even cards of the same type can have different costs depending on their, their number. Right, okay. Okay. 
quickly reloads reloadable attack card so yeah that does do what I thought it did and that's gonna be a heal yeah it's cure That costs 11 and that costs 19. So we can put both of those in the deck. Yeah, give myself more options. Novice deck builder, hey. Shortcuts? So I can pick one card as a shortcut. I'll wait until I get a tutorial about that. Assuming they give me one. And I can have up to three decks. Okay. Slides. Oh, combos. Okay. Right, 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 right. Okay. So that's going to be the same for any of the magic types. It's itself plus itself equals the next version of it. Summons is there. Donald and Donald. And then Goofy Tornado. Goofy Smash. Goofy plus an attack card. Okay, I'm assuming the game's going to give us a tutorial for these as well. What's that? Goofy, Donald, and an attack card. Right. Okay. Can I sort the deck? Is there a way of... Organize. Okay, I'm pressing the organize thing and it's not doing anything, so I don't know what. Okay, sure, sure. Uh, do I wanted to look at something else as well. Uh, card collection. No, uh, you know what? Take a look in the next fight. It was the pressing the touchpad. What does that card do? I ah, guess we'll find out. In the tutorial, they gave us a, a thing which is like if you press the. Okay, press the touchpad and then. Okay, it brings up some other thing, but I don't have the cards for that. Nice. Hey. Yeah, I need to organize. I want all of the Keyblade cards next to each other. Oops. Teeming Darkness. Oh. Hmm. So this is how they do level ups. You just get a pick to, just get to pick some stuff. Um, hmm. Okay, let's go with health for the start. I wonder if if you grind up to ninety nine, whether that's going to get you everything. Right, how do I organize these? I'm pressing organize and it's not 
doing anything. Sort. There we go. So what does organize do then? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, I think there's a thing in this game where if you have like the cards in a sequential order. So if I go one two zero one two, I think it does more damage or something like that. So I kind of want to put the cards into some kind of order. Um, I think it's if you do is it three of the same card number as well? Something like that, I'm not sure. Uh, let's go two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so we've got one, zero, one, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven. I think that means it's going to do more damage. I should really be locking onto enemies, I keep forgetting that's a thing. Mm. Quick restock. I don't know what card break is yet. <laughs> Sorceress walking. Oh wow, leveled up again already. Uh, sure. Increase the CP. Is there any? Yeah, up there. I need to know what card brick does. Oops. Uh, what's that? Change. Oh, I don't think it's a thing for changing targets. No, there isn't. I pick Goofy up. I show it's charge again. There we go. Okay, and I can't attack while I've got a summon card out. This doesn't seem like I can. So I hit triangle instead of X and it started doing the uh... So how do I use the slides? Oh, there we go, that's how you do it. Learning the game's mechanics before the game actually tells me how to use them. Alchemic walking. Waking, even. I...
Yeah, I picked up a couple of those cards and I... They're not deck cards, so... with crowns are special doors. You need special cards called key cards to open these doors. But just having the key card isn't enough to open the door. You need a key card and one of the... Okay. Pick a map cards that meet the doors criteria. You can open the door. So, right, that's what that's for. Uh, let's have a look. That's a four, a zero, a one, six, nine. Magic cards more effective. Item cards more effective. Only black fungi appear. Many heartless. Few heartless. Sure. Let's see what the black fungi are like in this game. isn't as easy as I thought. Ah! Don't pop out of nowhere like that. It's not our fault. We don't know what's going on. Yuck! Hey! Pluto! What's he doing here? Nothing strange about that. We came to Travis Town with Pluto, didn't we? Did we? No, wait. According to my journal, it was before you met Sora that you came to town with... Yeah. According to my journal, it was before you met Sora that you came to town with Pluto. Oh, my brain just, like, shuts off sometimes. Right, he's right. We were chasing after Pluto. That's how we ended up in Castle Oblivion. But aren't we in Travis Town? Well, it's not really Travis Town. I think the cards created this Travis Town inside Castle Oblivion. Ah, who cares about that? It's too confusing. I don't know where we are, but let's get this. Let's just keep moving forward, defeating Heartless. We'll get somewhere. Oh, hello, Leon. You better be careful, or it's the Heartless that are going to be going to defeat you. Are we going to fight him? Leon, it's you. What are you doing in Castle Oblivion? Castle Oblivion? What are you talking about? This is Traveller's Town. How do you know my name? Who are you? <gasps> I've never met the likes of you before. Quit playing, Leon. We fought all the Howlers together, you know that. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know your names. You don't? Sorry. I can't believe that. How can you have forgotten our powers? I feel for you, but you've got the wrong guy. Happens all the time. Don't take it so personally, Sora. Did we... Did they say Sora's name? 
Well, you do know his name. Now, hold on. What do I know your name? You think Leon's just kidding around? If he is, it's not funny. Sora's really upset. Who's kidding around, Goofy? You and Donald are the ones who... Hey! I don't get it. Something's wrong with my memory. What's happening here? I don't know, Leon. Maybe Aerith was onto something after all. Yuffie? Yeah. Oh, about me. She said she sensed some some uncanny kind of power. And asked us to look into it. Oh god, I'm very gassy. Oh, this is this uh, there. This is as uncanny as it gets. Maybe you should take Sara to see Aerith. Yuffie, you know my name. Yep, looks like you know mine too. You know him? Nope, total stranger. I definitely know his name. Strange, yes, but convenient. We can skip the introductions. How is it that you can accept this situation so easily? I don't get you. Well, I'm going to run ahead and fill everything. Leon, you give them the grand chill. See you later. Are we going to start getting Leon as a summon card? I guess it's no use pondering over it. Come on, follow me. But there are heartless wandering out of town. I better teach you how to protect yourself in battle. Ooh, more tutorial stuff. See the numbers printed on the cards? They range from 0 to 9. Higher numbers mean stronger cards. Okay, that's why they also cost more to put into the deck. If you and your enemy both play a card at the same time, the higher card wins. That's what the card breaks about. Okay. Because they're hitting me with a higher number of card than I'm hitting them with. Mechanics. I'm getting it now. I'm getting it. Go on, try it out. I'm going to be able to see what number's on their cards now, aren't I? That hits. Okay. Fail. Fail. Success. What about zeros? Are they... Always count as successes, or...? Yes, okay. Thank you, game. I was wondering what that was about. Lower card defects your attack. Even powerful cards can be defected if the enemy's card is higher. Whoever's on the losing side of a brick is left wide open to attacks. Don't let that person be you. Cards with zero value are special. No matter what card the enemy plays, you can break it with a zero card. Okay. But if you play the zero card too soon, the enemy can break it with any card they play. In other words, it's the most powerful card if it comes last, and useless if it comes first. Try to make the most of it. Yep, we figured that one out already. Stock cards, okay. You don't have to use battle cards one at a time. You can also assemble three cards and use them all at once. It's called stocking cards. Stocking cards and using them in threes, it's much stronger than using them individually. Go on, give it a try. Stock any three cards in your deck. Seven, seven, six. For a total value of 20. Right, okay. So until you can stack your deck with higher value cards, stock your cards to... I imagine bosses are also going to use techs that have like high numerical values as well. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Combo attacks aren't the only benefit for stocking cards. Choose your cards carefully, you can unleash special abilities called slights. 
slight to come in all varieties, and each has its own unique card combinations. And there's an entire section dedicated to showing you all of the slights you can that you've unlocked. You should try it once you've collected more cards and learned a slight or two. But keep one thing in mind. Every time you use stocked cards, you lose the first card you picked. You can't reload it. So don't just slight every uh, stock everything then. Won't return until the end of battle. Relying only on slights will cause your cards to run out. Okay. Use them sparingly. Think you got the hang of it? Yeah, more or less. I'll pick up the rest when I fight some real battles. Here, I found this laying around. You take it. Remember what I told you and make good use of it. Simba! Ooh. A key of guidance. Okay, is there anything else in this room that we can. Oh, it's just kicked us back out. Oh, that room's just gone? Oh, and I wasted that black mushroom card on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three or higher. I need to figure out how to like... Is there really not a way of... I don't know what's going on here. Okay, let's... Not sure I actually needed to use that. Right. I'm gonna try one of the slides out, so... That didn't really work. So there's no way of getting a card out of your stocks until you've actually like, used it. Sliding dash. Slide towards distant target for a close range attack. Three attack cards of the same type of a value between 10 and 50. Actually good. Used. Okay, having the summon cards be the first card in the set of here. Light seems like a good idea because those are going to disappear from my deck anywhere. game will tell me what it is. Filthy. Filthy. 
Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Tranquil darkness. Okay, there was two fights there. Oh, was there not a Donald plus weapon plus weapon? I can see those instantly stock cards being very useful. But they're a one-time use per fight. Okay. By the end of the game, I can see myself just stocking my deck full of just nine cards. Nines and zeros all the way. Literally won't let me get a new slight until I guess until I hit specific levels. I guess that's to stop you from just burning through all of the slights straight away. Right, more health is more good. Do I have anything new? Yes, Simba. I want him there. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, so that's going to be cutscene room. So I'll waste a card that I don't really want to. but it's only in number two. This is literally the same room layout as the last one. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. What do we want? Let's have a look. A room where striking first deals heavy damage to the heartless. Room where the heartless move more slowly. Okay. If you have friends, the friend card appears next at the start of battles. A room where you got yeah, items and magic more useful. Premium bonuses. Hmm. And we've got two of those. I kind of want to hold on to the, the teeming darkness, 
So that feels like it would be a good one for grinding out cards and levels and experience and stuff. In fact, I might use it on the next room. Aerith, have you forgotten me too? I don't know whether it's... I don't know whether to say nice to meet you or good to see you again. I don't think I know you, but I still feel like you belong here. Yeah, exactly. It's like we've never met, but I still doesn't... Bleh. But it still doesn't feel weird knowing your name. But I'm telling you, we have met. We took on the Harless together. We were a team. Feels like you're right, but I can't remember. Then I guess you won't remember what you told me. In Hall of Bastion, when I sealed the, sealed the keyhole. We may never meet again. But we'll never forget each other. See, you do remember. He's right, Leon. I remember you saying that too. I guess I can't write it off as a coincidence then. I don't have any memory of it, but somehow I still remember. I think your heart is doing that remembering for us. My heart? We don't know you, Sora, but your heart is full of memories of us together. Those memories must resonate in our hearts too. Maybe they tell us things we couldn't otherwise know. So you're saying that Sora's memories are affecting ours. His memories do seem to have a certain power. Maybe it's like that guy said then. This town's just an illusion. Something my memories created. And there's someone special to you in this town? Ah, how did you... Yeah, yeah, I get it. My memories are resonating with yours, telling you what happened. Yeah, a friend of mine is somewhere in this town. I mean, Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? What's that? There ain't any castles in here. That's not quite what I mean. You're still not sure what's going on yourself, right? Right, we just got here after all. I want to take a better look around. Then go have a walk around town. There are heartless. That's no problem for you. So you know I can fight. I can't say I know, but there's something. If I, but I feel like believing you. Let's leave it at that. My mouth's getting pretty dry. Where's my walk? Oh, I think I left it in the other room. Key to truth. Let's take a look at the map again. We haven't done any of these ones. I'm guessing we're going to go hit that one and then we'll divert down through these ones. Okay, we need a five or higher. kind of want to use it, but it is a zero card. I don't know whether I should use that or not. Yeah. Right, the room layouts are based on which cards I'm using, obviously. Is that another Team in Darkness? Yeah, eight. Is that a new cure? Yeah. Yes. 
Oh yeah, I haven't used Simba yet. Okay, it's just an AoE attack. A regular one? Yeah. Eight. Can I pick up a box and throw it out? Being able to cycle through them on lock on is kind of a. Oh, cool, sliding dash. Okay, Simba does decent damage. Another team of darkness? Okay, we've got a bunch of those now, so. We just use them. Kingdom Key, that's an eight. View deck, edit deck. That just inserts it where wherever I put it. And then that's a five hello voltage. Got two cures now? Yeah yeah. Oh I'm over the car capa uh, capacity now. Shit. Uh forty four. Uh Eleven. Ah, damn, you're a ten, aren't you? Uh, all right, we can get rid of it too. There we go. Uh, goofy. Okay, that goofy one's a pretty good combo. Uh, Simba, get in here. Did the last one. Friendship card. Thank you. I'm definitely getting the hang of this combat system now. Yeah. Shit, there's a card there that dropped out of that. Hopefully it's still there when this fight's over. Bit of overkill for that last one, but sure. Sleeping Darkness. Ooh. It's only a one, though, so. That might be one to use for opening a door. Oh, I have to use a green card. Okay. So it's not just a numerical values that they're using. Which one would be the best one of these to waste? Six, nine, 
nines. No, okay. Got two of these, so let's use the... Yeah, the six. Hey, Sid. Well, what do you know? It's Sora. Wait, what am I saying? I don't know you. But you do look like a Sora. What with the spiky hair and baggy pants. It's okay, Sid. That's my name. So, you've heard of me then. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Well, anyway, maybe you can help me out. A friend of mine's supposed to be somewhere in this castle, uh, town. Got any ideas? Your friend, uh, lately it's all Lately, all this town sees is artless. Can't even take two steps without getting attacked. In fact, this plaza's the worst. Word is a jumbo-sized artless shows up when that bell rings. I was expecting the bell to ring there. If you value your, your hide, you'll get out of here while the getting's good. Gosh, maybe we should leave. Don't you want to see the heartless? No. But we're going to anyway. There we go. I knew it was coming. The bell. Be careful, Sora. First boss fight. Is it going to be the suit of armor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what happens if I game over if it lets me restart at the bar, like the start of the fight. Or if it's a you reload the last save. roll constantly out of the way. Come on, give up. There we go. Is that a friendship card that I got? Don't. This combat system is going to take a bit of getting used to. Oh, yeah, all of the parts have separate health bars. Magic card. Oh, what is that? I've not seen that one before. Whatever it. Was, it was awesome. Is that goofy? Yeah. Oh, we completely missed. Okay, keep that one restock. The, yeah, it's just the main body left now. Shit, shit, shit. Nice. 
Is that another goofy card? Yep. Nice, there we go. That's got to be a level up, right? Say, are we going to get some kind of special card for beating a boss? The guard armor. Raise CP. I feel like CP is going to be the one to, to beeline when you level up. So your friend wasn't here? I don't think I'll find him in this town. But he's somewhere in this castle, I just know it. Castle? Like this whole town since inside a humongous castle? Ooh, that's rich. He's probably right, Sid. We may not understand what's going on, but Sora does. You can see that reality is there. You can see that reality is bigger than just this world. I wish I was that sure. You'll be okay, Sora. No matter what shape reality takes, you can handle it. I may not remember you, but I know you in my heart. Leon. Take care, Sora. I'm a little lost, but best of luck here, anyway. have all the answers, but I had to tell you something. Your memories created this town, right? That's what the guy who gave me the card said. If that's true, then this town is just a figment of your mind, and so are we. But you can't be a figment, you're standing right here. This town is here too. But I'm not really me. I don't remember the things I should, and I sense something I shouldn't. Sorrow. Beware your memories. In the journey to come, you'll be faced with more illusions. Sometimes the shadows of your memory will deceive you, try to lead you astray. Yeah, it is getting pretty late, isn't it? Good night, Voltage. Thank you, it seems pretty fun so far. I think I'll enjoy this one. You take care now. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? I'm sorry, I'm just another illusion. The truth is out of my reach. Don't say stuff like that. That's depressing. <laughs> say strong, Sora. Don't let the illusions distract you from what's truly important. Okay. Sora! Are you ready to go? Yeah, be right there. Well, I better be going. She's already gone. Aerith? Aerith? What about Aerith? Where did she go? I was just talking to her. Aerith left with Leon and the others, remember? Huh? You worried us just standing there by yourself. Is that what she meant? Wait, is that room? Oh, they've moved me into a different one. Conqueror's Respite. Spite.
Right, okay. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Let's see. Oh. Is that new Kiwa? Yeah. Let's take a look. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, map cards. Okay, so that shows me what door cards I have. The world cards, Travis Town. These are, are these all of the... Yeah, these are all of the things that I've got access to at the moment. All the slides. Oh, yeah, my he my health persists between fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the blue arrow is pointing me. I guess to the exit of this world? Aha, save point. Okay, so there's two more rooms that look like they're going to be optional. Moogle points, what are those? We haven't got the explanation for those yet. I imagine that's going to be the currency of this game, because we haven't been picking up any money. Oh, seven or higher. Uh, what have we got? Move more slowly. Item card's more effective. First strike. You know what? Let's use one. So this should be a pretty big room. Goofy card. Oh no, it's done. Nice. Oh, so he just uses two random spells. Because he did two attack spells that time. Nice. Tranquil Darkness. Fight over? Yeah, there we go. Can I throw it? Is it going to respawn? Okay, so the red ones are Moogle points. Having the friendship cards be the start of a slight is a good call. Did that attack just completely win? Oh well, Goofy got him. Shadow. I guess Shadows is the most basic card. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, only a few Heartless appear. Okay. We haven't seen any blue or exclamation mark ones just yet. They only stay stunned for like the first hit. Anything after that is. Where 
Where's that wizard car? Uh, right, there we go. Yeah, I think I need to take another look at my deck again. Have a look, see. Oh. Slightly extends the range of attack cards. That costs 30, which is more than I can afford. Increases the value of all cards by one. Limit two reloads. So is that I put it in and everything goes up by... Hmm. So all two cards become three cards and so on and so forth. Does that mean nines become zeros? <clears throat> or do they stay as nines? That also runs the risk of any zero cards becoming a one. You know, let's replace a one card with that. Remove you because I can't afford you. Oh, organized fills in the gaps between cards. That's what that does. Okay. That makes sense. Do the numerical values of the heels actually matter? They do cost different CP values. I imagine it's how much HP they heal. So six heals more than a three, I would guess. Let's just stick with the six for now then. Okay, yeah, I think increasing the CP of the decks is going to be what I'm mainly going to be focusing on when I level up. Yeah, he is just random two spells out of like the four basic ones. I'm glad I used this um, a lot of darkness ones because it gave me a lot of room cards. Oh, stay away, stay away, stay away. I want to get... There we go. It's probably going to get blocked. value was that? You know, let's just use a Simba, get rid of all these. He's so good at getting rid of the little flying guys. Oh, that's a new one. Blue Rhapsody. So that's just going to be all the blue guys. Oh, is it a deck card? It is. Increases the strength of ice-based abilities. Card, 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 come back. Ugh. It's only one value. Nope, no friendship card. Six. 
Okay, we should be getting close to another level up. 26, yeah. Another fight or two. Do you explode? You do. That was a nice and quick one. Marshall working. Uh, let's have a look. Attack cards are more effective. Okay. Didn't we get one of those already? I thought we did. Simba. Sleeping darkness. And there was one more. There he is. That should be a level up now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, new slide. Uh, no, I'm just going to stick with the CP. Any more fights anywhere? Or are we... Simba. Oh, it doesn't recover Simba on. Was that green card? Did I grab it? No, I didn't. Another slumber one? Yeah. Another little area that I didn't notice before. Okay. They weren't joking about these ones being lots of heartless. Okay, so I can hit the lanterns as well, so is there any more? Oh my god. Is he just constantly spawning new fights? Might be. Team in Darkness. Oh, what's that? Ah, potion. What's that? Kingdom Key. Ah, oh, it's only a one. Yeah, 
viaje pozos. don't have that one. What on earth is that? Like a treasure doll one? I guess that's going to be a get it in a later world comeback. How am I doing for... Next level, 208. I need to make sure I'm going around hitting everything in each of these rooms because there's way more to interact with than I'm actually like realizing. And there's cards hidden in some of them, so I need to make sure. I don't want to be missing out on anything useful. Is this the end of the world? Yeah, seems like it. Sora, did you enjoy meeting your memories? Yeah, it was good to see everyone. Wow, that looks really but fuzzy on my screen. What do you really want from me? What do you have to give? <laughs> hey! Hello. It's your boy. Where's my water ball? What do you want? No hog in the hero. But what role then perhaps myself? you'd like to test him. Perhaps I would. My show now, Keyblade Master. Who am I? Oh, my name's Axel. Got it memorized? Yeah, we do. Sure. Good. You're a quick learner. So, Sora, now that we're getting to know each other better... Wow, they introduced the boy right off the bat. Like, he's the first named member of the organization that you meet. And the first one you actively fight. Save the item. Okay, so he can actually block you being able to use cures. Okay, they dump you to the room just before the fight. That's that's fine. I'm okay with that. And we can skip. He's using
I think I need to jump when he uses that. Oh, fuck. Shit, I need to heal. Fuck. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I think I managed to... This is something to get out of that there. Okay, it's him being able to like block me from using my heals. I might have to. Yeah, what I need to do is. Stock a couple of attacks and then put the heal at the end of it. To stop him from being able to block me from using it. I think it's what I need to do. Okay, his fire attack doesn't encompass the entire arena. Stop that. Come on, dude. Fucking stay still. Gotcha. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, I can see boss fights being a... Uh, a bit of a wall in these games. Fire? Yay. And a new world card? Another one? What to do? Hmm. Kind of looks like the card you used. When you made Travers Town. Then I guess we're going to need it to keep going. Let's Wonderland ride. next. I don't know if it's coming across on stream, but these you really cutscenes are, that introduction. have like a weird fuzz oh so going easy. around on them. You were testing us. And you passed. Congratulations, Sora. You're ready now. Ready to take on Castle of Blue? Yeah, they do a little bit. You will need to follow your memories. Trust what you remember and seek what you forget. Then you will find someone very special. You mean King Mickey and Riku? <laughs> you will just have to give some more thought to who it is that's most important to you. Our most precious memories lie so deep within our hearts that they're out of reach. But I'm sure that you can find yours, Sora. Why me? You have lost sight of the light within the darkness. 
And it seems that you've forgotten that you forgot. The light within... darkness? Would you like me to give you a hint? Sora, do you need it? I'm gonna figure it out for myself. If you're in my way... Don't worry, Sora. We'll protect you. <laughs> Good answer. Just what I'd expect from the Keyblade Master. But be forewarned. When your sleeping memories awaken, you may no longer be who you are now. Oh, shit, we got a fucking ton of them. That was like five world cards, what the hell? Holy shit, I thought we'd just go through them one at a time, but we just got... Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, is there a save point in this room, or no? Gosh, you think there's Moloch Axel and that other guy? Yes, 13 of them. Technically 14, but we're well, not at that point yet. If we meet Axel again, you can leave him to me. Sure. Huh. Moving to another floor erases all the rooms you've created. If you return to this floor later, you'll need to make new rooms using the map cards. That's fine. wrong, Jiminy? Well, you see, what Axel said back there worries me. What could he have meant by, you may no longer be who you are? I may no longer be me. How can I be anyone else? <laughs> of course. Still, you can't be too careful. Yep. Feels like just about anything could happen here in Castle Obliv-y- obliv obliv Oh, yeah. Now I remember. We'll be okay. Whatever it is they're cooking up, we'll be able to handle it together. Of course we will. Like that creepy castle we explored together. The one with all those weird contraptions. Holobastion? Is that what he's talking about? When was that? Uh, I can't remember. What was it called? Gorge. Oh, it was a uh, holla, holly, holler. Sorry, I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> Goofy, sure you didn't make it up? So they're losing their memories Boy, as they're going through. Card of Memories. Clear Castle Oblivion, floor one. Hey, here's the save point. And something else? Weird black hole thing? The what point? Cool, okay. This is the quick travel back between worlds. Is there a shop? I thought there might be a shop around here. I have a feeling there's going to be a Moogle shop, and that's what the points are for. Anything new to say? Still can't remember Hollow Bastion. So there's no difficulty, like listed for any of these, so it's just whichever world I want to do next. Alright. Right, I think that's a pretty decent start to the game. What I think I'll do is one world per per stream, I think. They seem to be about, like, the right length for for a single stream. Like, one 
Yeah. Just shy of two hours for the first one. I imagine as we go on, each world will get progressively longer as well. So yeah. Probably end up between about two and three hours per world, I think. Especially if they end up with a boss fight against one of the organization members when you clear a, uh, a world. So I will call it for tonight. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Bye now.